Morning, morning. It is September 25th. It's about 7.30. And we are stepping. Um, ended up sharing Aspen Knob campsite with a few folk last night. And um, so I wasn't able to really do the spiel I wanted to once we got to camp. Um, it always feels awkward when you just meet some people and then you start filming. So instead, I'll tell you now. So finally got a response from Garmin, which was awesome. And they told me that, so the Garmin inReach, the device itself is 100% full. And if you notice the clip from last night, it said, usually where it said how many days left until full. In that little box it said overwriting. So what that means is it just overwrites the data points on the device itself. It does not affect the map share, which is um, pretty clutch. That's what I needed to know. But I could clear it now, or I might wait till Grand Marais another two days to upload it into a computer because they say you can either just clear it and the map share data will stay or you can upload it into a computer and it will give you more accurate data points um, than other stuff. So, I don't know. Um, pretty much the big thing is that it doesn't delete the map share, which is what I was worried about. So, I'm ha happy. Um, but yeah, it was a good day yesterday. Really good day. It's nice just doing about 30s or close to 30s through the Superior Hiking Trail. That's like a perfect number for us where we don't feel like we're having to absolutely die on the miles, but we also feel like we're not going too slow. So, yeah, it's nice. We go places. Nice, so we are going into the Gorgi Och Krahaspi Matuiya State Park. <laughs> Magpie said I can read. Yeah, to agree to disagree. Um, we have to do a little bit of road walking to get into it. When I say road walking, it's this for like maybe half a mile, so not bad. Hmm. I think I pronounced every one of those words correctly. Oh, Baby, guess what? You're a vehicle. You're a vehicle. We gotta get you a permit. You're a for, what? Mm, for ramen. True. For protein bars. Yes. A, vi a vehicle of love. Uh -huh. That's a classy privy. Yeah, it is. Yes. I'm tempted. Very tempted. Can I squeeze one out? That's a charming way to phrase it. Baby, can I squeeze it out? I don't know. Do you have to poop? I'm going to try to squeeze something out. Mm -hmm. Alright, folks. That is something of beauty. I'm almost tempted to film inside that privy. It's so nice. But there's just some things too sacred. And the sacredness of experiencing a very clean and welcoming privy in person i can't film that you're just gonna have to experience it yourself it's it's beautiful in there there's a pipe in there that gave me a little bit of pipe envy but besides that it was wondrous and there was i don't know 15 rolls of toilet paper so you may not know this about me but this is our fifth day in the section You've been out of toilet paper for two days. i've been out of tp for two days because i packed out the correct amount of tp but the pumpkin day out of town really put some damage down on um, my TP reserves. Um, I think that was a three or four hole filler type day, if you know what I mean. It was a four poop day. Was it? Yes. Oh, they didn't know what I meant. No, they did. You think so? Yeah. Oh, it's too sacred. I want to film inside there, but it's too sacred. You're going to have to... He didn't even poop in there. He just like sang to himself and said, Yas, queen, over and over while he was pulling toilet paper. <laughs> Well, they didn't have to know that. They did. They needed to know because I can hear you. It's embarrassing when it's on camera, huh? It's embarrassing when you're doing it. Yeah, it feels embarrassing when I came out and Magpie said she heard what I was doing in there. So, 
Uh, didn't think those walls were that, uh, that. You were talking to me through the wall, and then you somehow forgot that I could hear you. But no, I talked to you in a louder voice, and then I brought my voice down. No, you didn't. Okay. Beautiful privy. Good start to the day. Yas. Aw. They directly put it on there. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Nice shelter, though. It's one of the better ones we've seen. Yeah. Pump, 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 pop. But you might not. Yeah, but that's okay. No. Yeah. All right, there's a lot of nice campsites in the state park. Um, but you have to reserve them, which you can, um, but just require a little more planning. So, yeah, if you want to camp in the Manitowai, um, the Horahi, uh, Crosby, 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 um, Stati, uh, ha, hacky. That's what that's what it's called. Make no mistake, folks. Superior hiking trail. She got some climbs. Um, still, I would say the hardest part was around Silver Bay so far. But, um, oh baby, after you cross that river with that bridge, you're gonna go up Cadiddles. Up, up Cadiddles. Superior Trails has some chunky climbs. Make no mistake. So I'm just trying to look at the pretty clouds. Magpie says this kind of ripple effect of clouds means it's gonna get colder. Rude. That's just, just my observation. Really pretty clouds though. They are pretty. Rude. Red. Very vibrant. I wish the camera could do justice. Justice to that booty. Uh -huh. That was a quick, quick call back. All right, quick disclaimer. Sorry, Mags, Pies, parents, if you watch these videos. Earmuffs, earmuffs. Close the ears. She's been hitting me with that uh, pretty frequently that she's like, y'all watch the videos. I can't help it, my mind. I try, I try, y'all. Um, it does save me some from some uh, jokes that are better left said to the woods and not to the camera. But, um, whew, yeah, it makes me, it makes me feel feel a little weird. Um, sorry. Babe, you have anything to say? Well, I have nothing to add. Uh -huh. Whew. Yeah, she catches me sometimes with that, and it's like, oh, no. Uh, can't help my weird. It's getting better, though. It's getting Pretty better. Pretty soon you'll be a person again. What's up? Pretty soon you'll be a person again. When? When we finish this thing. Yeah, hopefully. The transfer, transformation has pretty much already begun. I'm a little less weird each day. I'm happy about that. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, pretty. Yeah. All 
All right, so now we're cutting back towards the lake. Um, the trail actually puts you pretty far away from Lake Superior for a little bit. Um, but now we're cutting back towards it. So we're going pump, 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 pop. Um, if you guys don't know what that scenario refers to, it refers to a bird. And it refers to a bird eating Alka-Seltzer. Alka I think that's what it is. You know my parents watch this, right? Yeah. Okay. That's why I described it. No. no. All right, come find it. Geocache. I'm not gonna tell you where. Not gonna tell you when. You gotta find it yourself. It's not very well hidden. Yeah, and I also film enough that the puzzle pieces should be pretty easy. But okay, you're gonna have to do the rest of the finding. They like they like to play on words. Good job. Good job, Superior Hiking Trail. <laughs> nice. Were you filming? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. So charming and ladylike. Oh yeah. Y'all, that's a cold shower for not only you guys, but for me, too. Whew. I've got a stuffy nose, whatever. <laughs> there were too many zoom-in booty shots for y'all today that, if you're watching this video, there's that shower. Interesting. I don't know what that refers to. The trail we're currently on? On the Superior Hiking Trail. Huh. Alright, so this is the Caribro Cortex campsite. West Caribou. Car Caribo? Caribou? Caribo Cortex? West Caribou campsite. Hmm. I guess that's the part of your brain that only thinks about caribou. So depending how big your Caribro cortex is, um, you may have better memory about caribou or less good memory about caribou. Um, so weird. I think my Caribro cortex, Caribro, Caribro cortex is about 60% eh, of my brain. Um, I think about caribou quite a lot. And the different animals that are associated with caribou. Deer, moose, elk. Um, isn't elk just a caribou actually? Oh, reindeer. I think about reindeer a lot, too. Uh, then the beavers. Actually, no, beavers are 60%. Caribro cortex is uh, 40%. Yeah, looks like a good campsite. Um, Berivro cortex? But be be beaver... Beaverpotamus. <laughs> uh, the beaverpotamus part of the brain. That's what it is. Bevo camp... Beaver Campus. Beaver, Beaver Campus? Beaver Campus. Okay. Yeah, one sec. Hi, Oh, there's a trail log. Perfect. All right, this is Caribou Falls area. And um, it is a little confusing for the air section hikers. There's a lot of trail junctions all at once. So um, we helped some gentlemen out that were actually hiking very much the wrong way. And they're like, we just don't trust the leader. Good, uh, good call. The leader was bringing y'all down the wrong way. So we're actually gonna probably pass them again shortly. Um, we took a second to sign the trail log as they kept going. We pointed them up this direction. Ready. 
You don't want to just find a spot on a ridge? Do you want to have one here? Um, kind of, but there's no really good spot to have lunch right here. All right, lunch time. So we're just kind of sitting on the trail um, with a little beautiful overlook of Lake Superior. This isn't the main trail. Um, this is the Crystal Creek campsite trail. So we pulled off the main trail um, to take lunch with a view. So this is our lunch spot. This is where we're grabbing down. Just ate two cheese sticks. I've been eating two cheese sticks per lunch for the past four days, five days. It's a rough train to live on. But um, if you saw my resupply video back in Duluth, Duluth 2.0, um, yeah, we're going light. We're going light, but I like this resupply. It reminds me of the deprivation food. I'm flicking dirt off my leg right now, and I'm filming when I should be relaxing. And magpie stubbornly won't go poop. They're not a privy. Too far. Okay. You want me to go or what? Yes, please. All right, so just leaving lunch. Um, about 12.20, we got a little over 20 more miles left on the day. But super sweet older couple. One second. Super sweet old, oh, one second. Older couple had, we passed them earlier in the day, right before lunch. And um, they asked us how far we were going, so we told them North Dakota. And it was just very quick and we kept going. And then at lunch, they saw us sitting on the trail walked off to the campsite and we had a quick conversation again and then as we were packing up lunch sweet uh older lady walked back uphill to give us fresh fruit which is so cool so that's awesome fresh fruit thank you so much I'm about to eat me an apple which is yeah haven't had fruit in a while but that's glorious that's glorious thank you So you know what's beautifully ironic? This campsite is called Sugarloaf and Magpie in fact dropped the Sugarloaf off at the Sugarloaf campsite. Do you want to tell them about it, baby? Uh, all of the uh, Pure Hiking Trail campsites have latrines. Uh-huh. So, did you, I did you drop a Sugarloaf off at the Sugarloaf? I so. Oh yeah. I'm just cold showering all the viewers today. They're like, oh. They're like, oh, it's a pretty trail. It's a pretty, pretty beautiful McDidley in front of the trail. Like, oh, everything's so pretty. And then I hit you with a nose rocket and a loaf dropper. Um, loaf dropper, nickname in high school, but for different reasons. Um, yeah, we're gonna go places. All right, so I think this is Dryer Creek. I hope the baby hurries up because I want to tell her I'm gonna to run to the latrine. Oh, it's a coming, it's a coming. All right, baby, I gotta to run to the to the porta potty okay, go or the latrine or whatever it's called. Ooh, buddy, it's a coming, it's a coming. Chugga chugga choo choo. Wow, it's here, it is here. Ooh, batting average. Come on, just think about it. Just think about it. Don't ruin it, Constantine. Keep that average. Keep that average. Okay, I'm going to put my pack right at this entrance. Latrine, latrine, latrine. 
Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh. Get the CP out and go, 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 go. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. One more time for the viewers at home, baby. I'm gonna finally eat this banana. Finally. That the lady gave to us. Finally. Got a little smushed it on the side of my car. Finally, they've been waiting to hear that sentence for 3,800 miles, baby. Give you all some uh, cold showers, and then uh, we're going to turn up the heat a little bit. We're going to turn up the heat a little bit in the afternoon section of the day. One more time. I bit into it already. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a little bit. We were going places, and now we're back in the sad places. Mm -hmm. Picture, use a mental image of a walk-in shower. It's nice and tiled inside there. Um, you got a little glass uh, door so you can like see in and it like fogs up a little bit sometimes. And then just picture the water running down. Um, it's splashing on the glass. And then picture me in the fetal position in the corner. There's also a nice little bench in there, but um, I'm just on the floor next to the drain, um, just in the fetal position as the water runs down my face. And we don't know if it's the shower water that's creating the moisture or tears, but I think we both know that it's tears. Um, yes, I hope I painted a mental image for you when she said she bit the banana. I didn't like that. I was sad. Now well, I gotta pack up the heels. Yep. Man, y'all slaying it on the signage. Slaying it. Good job. Isn't that so cool how it so quickly changes? Yeah. It was just all types of colors and now it's like a vibrant green. Yeah. It is cool. Mm, I've seen better. Not even that good of a view. Mm. I wish there would be views on this trail. It's no. upsetting that there's none. No views. Absolutely none. What you smiling about? I knew you would enjoy this sign. Why? It's just got some words on it that you like. Mm-hmm. I know you're a big fan of meadows. I am a big fan of meadows. I don't know what I don't know what you expect me to say to that. No, I, I don't know why you're you got such a devious smile on your face. You're just matching yours. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh, I'm not smiling. Yeah, you're smiling, I can tell. Mm -mm, I'm not smiling. Uh-huh. I, I don't know what you expect me to say to that. I like meadows. Yep, big fan of meadows. I really enjoy meadows. Big, massive, just like... You know how, like, when you look at a meadow and, it, like, it's really hot outside and you can, like, feel it throbbing? Yeah. I like big meadows.
<clears throat> a lot of good river campsites. We about to climb out of the river. Oh baby. Almost just ate it. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're playing bouncy bouncy on some uh, little cliffside, but it feels like ridge running and not up and down. Today's definitely been a physically easier day. Um, the past two days, Silver Bay was just the brutal one. Silver Bay has some hooks, but this is pretty, pretty cruisy. So the trail just follows this river bed down and the trail is like literally right across from us but um it wants you to follow the river for a mile this way cut across and then come back up a mile so that is what we will do Now we cross the river. Um, beautiful river. Oh, there's a pup in a pack. Oh. You see the dog in the backpack? Wow. Don't drop the phone in that. This is one of our better gorges. Yeah, this is really cool. Gorge. Funny how that happens. How it cuts the rock so much below. It goes from like deep gorge to just a basic river in huh. like 10 feet. Very quickly. Oh. Yas. All right, it's 5.50, and the climb towards Carlton Peak has begun. Um, we're about five miles from camp, so be getting there right as nightfall comes, 7.30, 7.40. Um, this climb is going to probably eat into our pace a little bit, but such is life. So we're going to climb places. We're going to go places. All right, false start on the climb. Those are just stairs to get up to here. Um, I think we start the climb in about another mile, maybe. There's our hill. There she blows. I think that's Carlton. There she blows. That's nice, there's a picnic table right before the climb up to Carlton. Um, didn't know about that. That's nice though. Doesn't 
have... There's Carlton. We're somewhere in there. We're here. You sure? Yeah. Oh, you were right. Okay. All right, it's 6.50. Um, the climb up Carlton is not bad at all. Um, really pretty, actually. Carlton Peak is really pretty. Really cool. I wish we were here like midday. Yeah, really cool rock formations. Um, looks like there's a pretty bubble of view right out there. If you want to go to the Peak Peak, you go up this side trail. It's not um, very far up. Yeah, the Superior Hiking Trail doesn't peak you out. But um, really beautiful. 6.50, we're going to sign the trail log real quick. Then we got about three more miles to crank out. So beautiful, beautiful. All right, 720. We're about a mile and a half, a little over from uh, Springdale. Yeah, Springdale Creek. Springdale Creek Camp. So we're using the, the walkable light. Probably got about 10 more minutes of walkable light, depending on how thick the forest is. Um, and yeah, pretty good, pretty good day. We're, we're eating the Superior Hiking Trail up. Um, Y'all, if you come out to do a Superior Hiking Trail, um, regardless of NCT, and Superior Hiking Trail would be a beautiful through hike onto itself. I would but recommend it. yeah, I would definitely recommend it. You won't pay for the views, but that's what hiking's about, right? So it's really beautiful. Yeah. All right, 1.6. Let's get it. All right, we made it. Time to go find a campsite. Hopefully there's some open. All right, so got our 30 in. Um, yep, got to camp right at eight. So, cool, cool. 